Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Card Lounge and today I'm going to show you how you can import in new materials or textures that you have pre-saved on your computer, all those that Akikad has but it are not available on the list um, shown in the libraries. Okay, so here we just have a basic wall, if we look at it, um, with general material and when you're choosing the material of your walls, you usually use um, the materials that already come loaded with the Archicad, um, which are listed here. Um, right now, like let's say the stone, if you want a stone wall, it's just a limited number of options here, but you can import them. Um, you don't have to be limited to those that are already that are there. So if you go to options and you go down to surfaces, um, they'll load up for you the materials that are there, um, which are the same that you saw there. So that's the one we have been looking at. That's one of the stone options. And here you can also um, adjust the color of an existing material, the transparency, you can make it somehow transparent, you can make it more reflective in case you're working with glass. And you can make it more shiny you can play around with it a bit i'm using um, the view images internal engine because i feel here it's it won't be as heavy but there's the other viewing options so if you come down here um, to where there is texture here you can load up your own texture um, so let's create a new material um, name it whatever you want to name it um, that doesn't matter but um, name it something you remember after that um, we go down to search and if you have some textures you've loaded you already had in your computer from another program you can go down and look in the library and browse for it in your um, browser if you already have it saved if you don't, Archicad has more materials that it doesn't load um, on your machine, but they're already saved in your libraries. So if you go down here, you can see there's so many other materials, like so many. So if you don't find what you want, you can download more materials, but it's quite exhaustive what they have. So this is their stone selection. So let me choose something like that. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm just going to show it as an example. So I once I've saved it, it's now saved as part of my materials. So if I go down, I can find it um, using the name I'd saved it at. And there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>